be a planned corporate event for us to go and take the neighborhood. It's the acceptance of responsibility. Growing up and doing it right where we are. I'm so glad you said that. Oh, I did it all. I did all that. The first few years, I did it all. I traveled, I went, I spoke, I prayed, I laid hands. Socially, everything. I did so much work. And that thing, and God snatched me from that stuff. And he said, I'm going to settle you down. I'm going to make you more precise on what you do. You're going to stay within your boundaries. You're going to stay within your measure. He gave me a thing on measure, a rule, grace, and faith. He started showing me. He said, I'm going to show you how to harness all that that I put on inside of you. You got a lot of zeal. But now according to knowledge, I'm going to settle that wild man in you. And if you stop being an Ishmael, I'm going to show you how to do it. And then everybody else is going to think you are uh, uh, walking around like a, a tortoise. It's real slow. And you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's line upon line of precept. And on the outside, you can say, well, we're not doing anything. But God has given us, and he's been real precise, strategically to people, places, the things that he wants us to do. And I think that that's the real important thing, too. Because... We don't own the city. I did that before. I said that we're going to take the city, take the city. We did that. All the time, we're taking the city, taking the city. I'm not called to take the city. I'm just sorry. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm a part of the solution to the city. And I have to understand what God has given this house to do while in the city. That's it. You know, and if someone feels, you know, every, we got different houses. Prophets, you got a house. A, a fellowship and a ministry, and we got different ministry gifts in Joliet, and and I understand my role better now than I did. I had a lot of insecurities yeah. and complexes and yeah. things. Uh, I, I pilferings. I, I brought concepts from other ministry gifts. Yeah. Some that I brought in was okay, and some that wasn't yeah. all that okay. It was all about the ministry and not the people. Yeah. So I have a ministry yeah. now that is about the people. Yeah. 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 Then you know, and then the ministry. Yeah. And when I'm invited to stuff now, I, matter of fact, a couple years ago, I got a pastor upset because I sent one of my elders. I didn't come. And I'm like, okay, I came once and twice, yeah. but now my concept has changed. Yeah. I don't have to be there yeah. because yeah. I'm training people up yeah. to be in that position. Yeah. So when they go, they represent the colony yeah. called Rehoboth yeah. in, in the territory without having to have the yeah. top dog on the scene. That's it. You know, I don't, I don't like the peacocks. Yeah. I don't like the pageantry, the, the yeah. pony and horse. Yeah, yeah all that.